Hello students, today we're going to uh, apply the Pythagorean theorem uh, in problem solving to solve real world problems. Um, so let's review the, the Pythagorean theorem. Um, it says that in a right triangle, okay, the right triangle, the area of the sum of the areas of the two legs, so a square plus b square equals to the square of the hypotenuse, okay? So the sum of the, the areas of the two legs, you add the areas together, you get the area of the hypotenuse, which is the longer side of the, the longest side of the um, right triangle. So uh, simply said, the area of the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared or vice versa, or c squared equals c, uh, a squared plus b squared. Okay, so uh, in another lesson, you've already learned about this fact, okay? So we're going to use this Pythagorean theorem to solve any problem that has to do with the right triangle, okay? So let's look at this example. It says, in a, a newly planted tree needs to be staked with three wires. Each wire is attached to the trunk three feet above the ground okay and then anchor to the ground four feet from the base of the tree how much wire is needed for six trees okay so when you read word problems uh, since there's so much information that are given uh, in words you need to pay attention to what uh, it's important what's not important okay so f right now we know that the tree has three wires okay each tree has three wires okay and we're going to need wires enough for six trees, okay? And to make our triangle, we need to pay attention to this information, okay? The wires are three feet above the ground, okay? And four feet from the base, okay? Now, sometimes highlighting and underlining information from the problem is not good enough, okay? Um, usually you want to make a sketch or make a drawing of your problem. That way you can visualize what the problem is saying, okay? So I am going to um, highlight the important information, okay? And also uh, draw a little diagram. As you can see here, um, I'm going to use this information to draw my, my triangle. Okay, so here's the um, here's where they start tying the wire. Okay, and it's three feet above the ground. Okay, so this right here is three feet. Okay, and then it says uh, the wire is anchored to the ground four feet from the base of the tree. So uh, the, here's the wire, and it's anchored. That means they run the wire to the the ground and they anchor it right there. And that distance right there is four feet from the base of the tree. Okay. So, so far we have the legs of the right triangle. So, how do I know? Because if I draw my right triangle, it will look something like that, okay? And, uh, and all I have to do is fill in the information, use the Pythagorean theorem, and find out how much, uh, how long is one wire. So, what I do is I pull this right triangle up here, and so that I can work with it, okay? So right now I'm gonna put in some number. I know that this right here is three feet long, okay? And this right here is four feet long, okay? All right, so now I am looking for this uh, hypotenuse, which is the wire, okay? So uh, the only problem here is, in order to, for me to use the formula, uh, the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared, equals to c squared, excuse my a there, it looks a little weird, but um, you know, you get the, you get the trip. Um, I need to know which, uh, uh, which is which, okay? So the a and the b are the legs of the um, right triangle. So this is a right here, and that's b. It doesn't matter which one is which, as long as they are the shorter sides, okay? And c, is your longest side, okay? C is the wire. C is your hypotenuse in this in this problem. So now all we have to do really is um, start substituting our values in so we can evaluate and see what C squared is equal to, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. 
So after I took my values and put it into the theorem, the formula or the equation, I get 3 squared plus 4 squared equals to c squared, okay? Because I know what a is and I know what b is. So I just simply put those values in there and evaluate. Evaluate means find out what it, is, what it equals to. So 3 squared equals to 9 because that's 3 times 3 plus 4 squared is 16 equals to c squared. I still don't know what c squared is. I'm going to find out, okay? So my next step is combining these two. Okay, 9 plus 16 is 25 equals to c square. And then I take square root on both sides. Okay, so if you were to work this problem out, you would have to take the square root, right, of 25. So you take the square root of 25 and square root of c square. And you end up with c equals to 5. However, the problem uh, uh, asks us. Uh, much more than what we just found, okay? So the answer here is not 5, even though that's what we found and that's what we needed, okay? This 5 right here is only for one wire. So technically, if, if you go back to your diagram and you put uh, the measurement or the measurement into your wires, you will see that each tree will need, so one tree, one tree, will need how many, uh, how many feet of wires? One tree will need 15 feet of wires, okay? 15 feet of wires. So if I uh, have six trees, I will have to multiply that by six. And, you know, if you do your math correctly, six times five is 30. Write the zero, remember the three. Six times one is six, plus three is nine, okay? So you're going to need a total of 90, 90 feet of wires. So when you work these uh, problems, be sure to read the question and see what they're asking you to do, okay? Sometimes a lot of students find the answer right here and they get so happy and they stop right there without uh, going further and answer the question. So be sure to answer the question, okay? So let's try an example on your own, okay? Um, yeah, work the problem using the Pythagorean theorem and follow the example that I just did, and it is on by yourself. Then after that, we'll check and see how you did, okay? Uh, the problem says a rectangular field is 80 feet by 150 feet. Molly takes the diagonal shortcut from the from one corner of the field to the opposite corner of the field instead of walking along the two sides. How many feet? Uh, does she save by taking the shortcut? Okay, it says to draw a diagram. So go ahead and pause your video and try this problem on your own. Please pause your video. Please pause your video. Are you ready to see the result? Well, when you draw a diagram, it would look something like this, where you have A is equal to 80 and B is equal to 150. If your answer is 60 feet, then you got it correct. If your answer was uh, 170, that's uh, not the true answer. That's only finding the uh, side, okay? So you use the Pythagorean theorem, um, put it in your equation, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And you have to virtually look at this distance first, and that is the hypotenuse. You have to find that first in order to answer the question. And uh, so uh, it's 80 square, which is 6400 plus 15, uh, 150 square. That is a huge number. That is 22,500. If you put this into your graphing or your calculator, any calculator, you would get uh, 289,000. I'm sorry, 28,900. And in order to get C, you have to take the square root of both sides and you end up with um, C equals to 170. So this distance right here is 170 feet, okay? Now, it says how many feet does she save by taking the shortcut? So if she walked 170 feet instead of walking along the sides, then uh, we can find out how many feet she saved, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two uh, sides together to find the total distance that she has to walk here, okay? 
so that would be a hundred and seventy feet uh, 230 feet okay so the difference between 230 and 170 is 60 feet so if she were to take the diagonal instead of walking these two uh, sides she would save uh, 60 feet instead okay um, I hope that uh, this problem give you uh, this um, video give you an idea and when you come to class we'll get to uh, do more activities and practice more about the Pythagorean theorem in uh, using real-world problems thank you for watching